If your new vehicle is equipped with power adjustable seats, here's how to operate them. To make the seat slide forward or backward, look for this switch on the outer edge of the seat. Slide it forward or backward and the seat will move in that direction. To make the seat recline, move this recline switch backward until you achieve the desired position. To bring it back upright, move the switch forward and lean forward. The seat back will return to the more upright position. If so equipped, the switch you use to move the seat forward and back can also be used as a seat lifter, adjusting the angle and height of the seat cushion. Move the front or rear end of the switch up or down to adjust the angle of the cushion. Then push down or pull up on the middle of the switch to adjust the height. The lumbar support feature, if so equipped, provides lower back support to the driver. If your driver's seat is equipped with power lumbar support, push the front or back end of this switch to adjust the seat's lumbar area. If your vehicle is equipped with manual front seat adjustments, reach down and find this lever under the front seat. Pull up on it while you slide the seat forward or backward to a desired position. Release the lever to lock the seat in that position. To recline the front seat backs manually, locate this lever on the outside of the seat base. Pull up and lean back. To bring the seat back upright, pull the lever and lean forward. If your vehicle is equipped with a manual seat lifter, your seat height can be adjusted using this lever located on the outside of the seat base. Pull up or push down on the lever to adjust the height of the seat. Release the lever when a comfortable position is achieved. Folding rear seats will provide an increased load capacity, especially important when carrying long items. To fold down the passenger side rear seat, lift this cover and press this release button on the rear parcel shelf. To fold down the rear seats from the trunk area, reach in and pull the strap located on the passenger side of the trunk opening. Then pull on the strap located on the driver's side of the trunk opening and fold both seats forward for added trunk space. For security purposes, you can lock the rear seats in place to block access to the trunk. Use the mechanical key on the back of your intelligent key to lock these seats in place. Please refer to your owner's manual for further instructions.